Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Network, and today I'm going to be trying something new. For the most part, except for when I throw in a Jurassic Park reference here and there, my videos have been mostly first party Nintendo. Not that I've ignored third party games or indie games, my first video was for the amazing indie game Chicken Wiggle, and even more recently I reviewed Celeste. And I even wanted Shovel Knight in my top 10 characters to bring to Smash Ultimate. But today, I'm taking on something much different. Today, I'm going to be talking about two of the biggest free-to-play games on the Switch. No, not that! Fortnite and Paladins, and going over which one fares better on the Switch, and which one I would prefer and suggest. As a warning, I will only be going over the games with the Switch. I will not be saying, well on PC, Fortnite blah blah blah. I'm not part of the PC Master Race, as Yahtzee has put it, and I am a console gamer, and that is where I've played both these games. I don't want to do a head-to-head -head fight per se, because as similar as they are, they are two different games. But I want to compare them in different arenas of what we as gamers look for in a game. So let's just go over each game while we watch me play horribly at both of them. First, let's talk about the two in general on the Switch. Until a few weeks ago, Paladins was free for the Switch. Well, to a huge fanfare from the fans, it became free, and I jumped in and, uh, oh, I only have five characters to play as? Freemium? Yay. But yeah, it makes sense. It is free, but much like Fortnite, it has the Battle Pass, which if you purchase, gives you more rewards, exclusive skins, and much more. But in Paladins, you must also purchase extra characters. It looks like sometimes you can even test play some of the locked characters for a bit, you know, to get you salivating to tempt you to buy. Evil? Yes. But that is how a free meme game works. Both games, and like all mobile games, are guilty of stuff like this. So, I award no points to either. Oh, you might be asking, points? Yes, points will be rewarded in each category. Maybe. But, do they really matter? Now on to speed. No, not how fast the game runs or how you run in the game. That can be a bit arbitrary with internet connection. No, I mean sometimes with games like these where people are jumping into battles, how quick can I get into a game, grab a rocket launcher, and go crazy? Well, for Fortnite, honestly, the whole process from going from the lobby to starting onto the battle bus is really quick. It even kind of threw me back in my first few games. I was not ready for it to be that fast. It was quick from ending the game to even dying. You can jump right back into the lobby and right back on the party bus. I really do enjoy how easy and fast the process was. Now with Paladins, well, the clicking play now to actually starting the match, it can take a while, or at least feel like it does. And if it is a siege game where you have to push the cart to your opponent's gate or defend, oh man, it can be excruciatingly long to wait in between matches, even though it really isn't that much time. Like, I wish I had a second switch to do things while I was waiting. Of course, having a phone does help. And remember, this is a stance of someone who has not played a lot of games like this on the computer or on a console and this might just be the norm for stuff like Paladins and Overwatch. I can be used to matchmaking taking a while, Splatoon 2 has been rough at times, but for some reason this one just seems worse. Point goes to Fortnite for this one. Now since I am focusing on the games on the Nintendo Switch, well, let's see which game fares better on the Nintendo's hybrid console. Let's focus on how the games focus on handheld mode. As long as you have a dedicated Wi-Fi signal, that is. First off, wait, let's take a different approach. Really, they both fare great. There's a mobile Fortnite version, so it's not all that surprising for that, but Paladins runs pretty good. Never ran into any issues with either. I mean, for these sort of games, I'd much rather have them on the TV, but really both deserve a point for how they perform and allow me to play while I laying in bed and watching The Office on Netflix. Next, let's go over game modes and playing variety. We will start with Paladins this time. With over 30 characters, each bringing some uniqueness to the table, plus a random assortment of game mode, deathmatch, siege, and such, there's a lot of variety. Let's not forget about the loadouts for each character to choose. This makes them very customizable. And this is all without paying any money. Yeah, there are skins, but I'm cheap. Default is fine. I'm mostly in first person view anyways, so why pay so others can see my aesthetic changes? No thank you. I really feel like even if I play, let's say, Rockets for three games straight, Although I haven't really changed, it all feels different and I really like that aspect. It kept it from getting too stale. Now let's jump back into Fortnite. Each character is basically the same character, but there's a lot of focus on customizing your skin so you can be more unique. Yeah, the default characters are different, sort of, but not really. 
Fortnite is in third person view, so you see them a lot, and that makes constantly looking at the generic character every match a bit boring. But of course, with the power of money, you can change that. Not very appealing for a free to play player though. Beyond your character looks, I do see how each game mode makes me play different ways. Example, in 50v50 I screw around a lot, take my time, and gather an arsenal, and get tons of building material and then make my way to the middle as the storm eye shrinks. By the time I get to the middle, I'm either met with a barrage of bullets, or see dozens of my teammates screwing around as we have double the players left, and I end up screwing around until the game ends. But in a game of solo, I play completely differently. In solo, I'm scared to death I'll get shot, because honestly, I'm not great at 1v1 shootout in Fortnite. I will die a quick horrible death. So I quickly try to get to the middle and hide and gather what I can because if I don't, I get sniped coming in. It's rather stressful. Then there's playground mode, another just have fun mode of creating structures. But honestly, I think the point for variety has to go to paladins. The amount of characters and play styles for each and the loadouts just push it over the edge in my opinion. Now let's talk about play session times, where we look at how long I can play these games before they get stale. Let's start with Fortnite. As mentioned before, the quickness of jumping between matches really helped Fortnite a lot, but in a way it might hinder it as well. I feel not real accomplishment from game to game, and this might be a personal issue. I can assure you, if I won a solo game, I'd be feeling really hyped. But that being said, after a handful of games, I feel they are stale, even if I change up the modes. Not to say the game doesn't do a good job of drawing you back. Even after jumping into a different game, you think, hmm, Maybe I should go back to Fortnite for a game or two. And because it's quick to jump into it, it is not a cumbersome process and helps people to get right back in. Now for Paladins, I feel it is the complete opposite ironically. I can keep playing hours of Paladins honestly. I just want to keep playing a new match, pray it's not Siege again and have fun. But due to loading and starting a game can take a while, when I am already in a game, well I find it hard to jump back into Paladins. It is funny how that has worked out for the two games. Seems pretty even though, so let's give them both a point. Well, both Fortnite and Paladins have three points each, so we will take the Drew Carey approach and decide because the points just don't matter. So the winner and the champion for the best free to play for the Switch is both and neither. Let me explain, and this isn't a cop out. Both games truly have their highs and lows, and comparing them might not have been the most fair thing as they are different types of games. But that is what we do. We compare and contrast things. And in this digital age, we all like to put our own opinion on things. And this being a video game channel, why not do it myself? I never regretted downloading either of those games. That's a big thing right there. I think I had more fun playing Fortnite alone, but more fun with friends and with Paladins. You might feel differently, but what is important and honestly most exciting is we can all freely express our feelings and opinions. Even if you don't like this one or the other, or heck, even if you are not a fan of any kind of games in this genre, if someone is enjoying a game and voicing their opinions in a non-destructive, non-mean-spirited way, don't bring them down. This really applies to not only Fortnite and Paladins, but every video game out there. My opinion is not just the only one out there. That is why there are reviewers, so we can get different takes on one product. The whole point of this video was not to ruffle any feathers in either camp, but to explain there's not a right answer. If you like a game, wonderful. If you don't, okay, go play a game you like. If you want to criticize, make it constructive criticism. Not just troll players, reviewers, and gamers. Leave that to the professionals. But as long as you love and enjoy playing a game, that is all that matters. Thank you for joining us here at the Nintendo Network. Let's try an experiment. What do you think of Paladins or Fortnite? Leave a positive comment below, and don't be negative to anyone else's comments. If you like this, please join the network by subscribing to us right here on YouTube, and join us on Discord, Facebook, and Twitter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look at this news article. Oh man, Blizzard says Overwatch is feasible on the Switch. I'm gonna have to do this again, aren't I? Oi, with the poodles already.